How's it, chaps? Quick one from the Burton Builds Garage. I've literally had hundreds and hundreds of people asking, how did I make such a nice camping bed? Actually, I've only had one. So, this video is for you, Francois. Hope you enjoy it. So this used to be a queen size folding air bed made by Camp Master. One of those beds that you've got to blow up yourself. So the original bed has this uh, canvas and nylon style pouch on the top. This frilly shit hanging off the bottom. And what you do is you blow up your air mattress, slide it into the pouch, zip it up, and you're pretty much guaranteed to enjoy a fairly shitty night's sleep. And I'm sure many of you have woken up in the morning, find yourself sleeping on the floor because the damn mattress has gone flat and you've got to blow it up again. We used this bed for a few years with a blow up mattress and it's pretty crap, so I decided to make another one. So what I ended up doing is unscrewing this pouch from the top of the frame, chucking it in the fucking bucket, getting rid of that shitty air mattress, and then using the existing frame, putting a wood top on and getting a foam mattress. And with this setup, I can guarantee you, it's definitely not the mattress you're gonna be pumping in the morning. So this setup uses the original bed frame with a plywood top and then some cross bracing running underneath the top. As you can see, the plywood top is made out of three panels. It is 12 millimeter thick plywood and the two panels on the outside are slightly smaller than the panel in the middle. The two panels on the outside are 630 millimeters wide by 1,340 millimeters long and the center panel is 730 millimeters wide by 1,340 millimeters long. The reason I made this center panel slightly wider than the two outer panels is because of the location of the legs underneath the frame. This middle leg and that middle leg. Now I wanted these two legs to fully support this center panel. Reason being is because most of our body weight is generally over the center part. So if we have a look underneath, we can see here's the top support of this leg, Here's the top support of that leg, and you can see that it's just um, on the edge of the center panel over here, and just on the edge of the center panel over there. Having a look at the two outer panels, the outer panel on the far side is constructed exactly the same way as the panel on this side. So they are actually interchangeable. And if we look here, the outer panel is supported by this outer leg over here. It's fully supported here, but there's no support in the center. So what I ended up doing is using four beams underneath. We'll look at these later. And these beams run from this side all the way to the other side, and they are screwed together. So there's two screws here, and there's two screws down there, or two bolts actually. So once that's bolted up, uh, the piece of wood underneath here, or this wooden beam, supports the inner section of this panel. And of course we don't use it like this, when we use the bed, it's pulled over the top and it is fully supported. We've used this for many years, have never had any problems. The bolts that hold this holder together, so the bottom beam to the top panel, are six millimeter by 75 millimeter long bolts. And on the top, we've got a washer with a bit of a domed flat head screwdriver bolt there. And on the bottom, we've got a washer with a wing nut. So this setup makes it uh, pretty simple, quick and easy to get together and you don't really need tools. So just to show you the beams on the underside of the bed, there is the bed frame, it's all folded up and there are four beams, one, two, three, four. These beams are 22 by 44 millimeter pan, nothing special, super cheap stuff. And as we mentioned before, they are all bolted together with those six by 75 millimeter bolts. So there's four along that beam, four along this beam, four along this beam, and four along the beam underneath my legs. So I've just chucked the bed frame back onto our bed. Now, of course, this bed is upside down. Uh, it'll be quite uncomfortable if you try and sleep on it like this. But what I wanted to show you was the position of the beams. So I ended up going, uh, positioning the beams. You can see there's the outer one over here and it's positioned just to the outside of the bed frame. And then on the other side, the same thing, this beam is position, positioned just to the outside of the bed frame. And then for the two center beams, I kind of just guessed these. I thought, where would people be sleeping? And I thought I'd put each one of those beams underneath where a person would be sleeping. Now, of course, you could put on uh, more beams if you wanted to. Uh, you could put on maybe a, a fifth one and a sixth one over there, but I mean, that's up to you. I must say that we've been using this for a couple of years. We've never had any problems, so, you know, I guess take that with a grain of salt, um, maybe try it with four beams first and if it uh, does feel a little bit wonky then add a fifth and a sixth beam. 
The last thing to talk about is how we join the wooden top to the frame of our bed. Now, if we didn't join these together, the frame and the wooden top would slide around and potentially slide off the corner and the bed could break or fall apart. Not gonna be very comfortable for you. So, what I ended up doing is uh, at each of the four corners, of course, this is only one of the corners, I drilled a six millimeter hole and then there was a little bit of plastic that was left over there. I also drilled a six millimeter hole there. So we line those two up and I used the same uh, six millimeter bolt. This one is 50 millimeters long, although yours probably doesn't have to be that long. This is just what I had on hand. We slide the bolt in from the bottom, tighten up the wing nut with a washer uh, at all four corners. And then you'll find once you set the, the frame and the bed onto the ground, it's gonna be rock solid. So after we've put the four corner bolts in, chuck the mattress on top, we can pull over a queen size fitted sheet and then the rest of the sheets, duvets, pillows, etc. And it makes for a really, really solid night's sleep. I must say it does take a little bit longer to set up uh, relative to just a blow up mattress. But you know what? When you're camping for one week, two weeks, three weeks at a time, that extra little bit of setup is definitely worth the effort. So Francois, there we go. This is how the bed was made and hopefully you found it useful. If you did, uh, please hit the thumbs up button and for everybody else that is watching, if you found the video useful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help to get the video shared. Also leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Maybe you've got your own camping tips and tricks when it comes to DIY beds and what has and has not worked for you. Guys, thanks very much for joining me. My name is Grant Burton. This is the Burton Builds Garage, and you guys will see me in the next video. Cheers.